Well, I've always really been interested in 3D printing. When I was in college, I worked on a Stratasys 3D printer uh, in conjunction with an engineering slash jewelry class. It was kind of an interesting liberal arts school crossover project. And uh, I had a lot of fun in school using one of these machines. And it wasn't until recently when the library that I'm working at part-time got a MakerBot okay. that I, I kind of realized, again, how, how cool 3D printing is and just got me thinking about different takes on how to apply the technology. What other kind of technologies really inspired you, um, you know, to, to actually do this exact design? What, what were your inspirations coming from? Yeah, the first applications for 3D printing that I had experience with were in making small sculptures. And at the time, it was an FDM that made stuff with ABS plastic. And I always kind of thought, well, you have to go through a lot of stages to go from a plastic object to a metal object. Right. All these, you have to put it into a plaster material, you have to burn it out, you have to uh, use some kind of a centrifuge to, to cast it. It's a whole, like a wax casting process. Well, this time around, when I started looking at 3D printing, there are all these metal clay materials that are available, and a lot of people are using them for jewelry, uh, for making handmade, artisan-crafted stuff. And my idea was really, how do you combine something that's usually just an artisan, low-quantity, handcrafted material with this world of 3D printing, which is growing, but it's high-tech and it's a totally different group of people. It's a different niche.